Hello and in this video we're going to go over the procedure of adverse possession. Now the procedure of adverse possession when it comes to unregistered land, which about 10% of land in the UK is still unregistered, um, it does not matter whether it was uh, pre-2002, the significance of the year 2002 is thus when the Land Registration Act 2002 came in making land registration compulsory and after 2002 it has had no effect on registered land. Um, so the procedure goes something like this, that you ha the possessor has to be able to establish factual possession, intention to possess, and that the possession was adverse for the 12 years in an unbroken chain while um, they were there. And this 12 years figures you can find in the section 15.1 of the Limitation Act 1980. So what happens after these 12 years? Well, essentially what happens is, is that for further three years is procedural issues, but the registered proprietors essentially holding the land on trust for the adverse possessors. Now they now have a beneficial interest. This is in section 75 of the Land Registration Act 1925. And then after this, the paper owner's rights automatically will become extinguished. And this can be found in Section 17 of the Land uh, Limitation Act. Sorry. Uh, what happens though, like if you're not there for 12 years, you're there for six years, but then your friend comes in and for the next six years takes over. Well, that's not a problem. And this, there's no case law saying that uh, uh, successive owners is an issue. Uh, there's no, sorry, statute law saying that there's no problem with successive owners. But there is a case and it's Williams and Usherwood. And yeah, that's how we remember that. Now, for registered land before the Land uh, Registration Act, it didn't matter. It was the same procedure for all land. But once the Land Registration Act came in, the statute put in place um, new sort of um, details and formalities and the system has completely changed. So what happens is now, instead of 12 years, um, the number is 10 years. Uh, the adverse possessors have to be there and have to establish factual possession, intention to possess, and that possession must be adverse. Now, um, this figure for 10 years can be found in Section 6 of the Land Registration Act. So Section 6 Land Registration Act. And what happens after 10 years is that the adverse possessors have to go themselves and apply to the Lands um, Tribunal. And what the Lands Tribunal does, it sends out a notification to the real proprietor. And the paper owner then has 65 working days in which to say if he objects to the land being adversely possessed or he doesn't. If he doesn't object, then it's after 10 years after this process, it's changed. However, if he does object, then the application will fail and um, they have like within two, uh, an additional two years in which to make another application or the uh, paper owner also has two years in which to um, eject the adverse possessors. Now, the application will always fail if the paper owner says no, except for if there is some kind of estoppel against uh, him. It would be like unfair or, you know, there's some reason or if they've com contributed to the purchase price. So then that's in Bridges and Mies um, or there's some kind of boundary dispute. And in that boundary dispute, um, the adverse possessors are so, so sure that that was their land. And in that case, a different decision can be taken. And that's also, uh, no, that's not in section six, that's in schedule six, um, paragraph five. Now, the only exception to this is you can't make an application if the real proprietor for some reason is unable to respond um, rationally. Now this doesn't mean if they're on holiday or something like that. What it means is if they have like a disability or a serious illness. Now this is also in Schedule 6 of the Land Registration Act 2002. Now what about subsequent dealings with adverse possession? Now if you still haven't made an application then um, you, your interests will not bind um, a purchaser of like if the real proprietors are, do, are involved in a transaction your interests will not bind if the purchaser is giving no consideration however if they've given uh, consideration and they didn't have notice um, then it will not bind but also sometimes adverse possession can, it can be deemed as an overriding interest that's scheduled three paragraph two and um, 
in the Land Registration Act. Yeah, uh, it can be deemed as an override interest, which means it will bind the possession, uh, the purchaser, regardless, um, unless it was really true that they had no notice and they've paid considerations and they did it in good faith. So they're a bona fide purchaser. That's the only exception. Thank you for watching.